here's my latest wood splitter I built I thought the last one was going to be the last one but this one hopefully is the last one I was going to make it out of twin I-beams because the I-beam on my last big one wasn't quite it's starting to bend so I was going to make it out of two I-beams but then it was going to be too wide so I found some channel steel in the pile and I made it out of channel steel instead it comes down here I made the the wedge is an old piece of railroad track cut and milled and moved around the cylinder came off an excavator it's got a half inch backing plate on it to hold it all on some supports there for it and doesn't seem to work too bad that's how I got that wood pile going there's some guide rails inside here and you can go down and put it over the piece of wood and it kind of cradles the wood when you go up there and bust it which isn't too bad and that's that's the latest wood splitter it's not real fast but you don't have to touch the wood at all it, it takes about on the machine it takes it's a 300 a 300 takes about five dollars uh, an hour a little over a gallon an hour to run it but you can split about a quarter in an hour now mind you I don't have to split the wood in very small pieces because of the wood boiler that you could see in some of the previous uh, previous movies